Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Isn't it a beautiful place? I am in Jasne Błonia, which is one of my favorite places actually in Szczecin. Especially this area with those very, very old trees that are healing. They have great energy. If you ever in Szczecin come here, take a walk and enjoy this place because it truly is fantastic spot to find some peace, to contemplate and to read you the news. Today I would like to start with a long read and that will be from Maria Zakharova uh, who addressed that uh, situation that took place in Canadian Parliament. You remember this 98 year old Nazi man from SS Galician division who was applauded by everyone. And of course, the only person who knew who he is was the Speaker of the House. That in one of my videos, I said that he resigned before he actually resigned. And then he resigned the ne very next morning. So I think we all have manifested that moment. I wish we can manifest Trudeau resigning. So fingers crossed. Well, I will read you. This is a long uh, article, but her words are quite on the same page, almost exactly on the same page as Scott Ritter's words that he said during our last live interview that we had and where i found this article let me just double check here i found it on the belarusian portal you will find the link attached in the description box maria zakharova the title of this is canada sparkheads the efforts to falsify the world war II history this is the pinnacle of the Canadian government, Maria Zakharova said. The 98-year-old Yaroslav, I think his name is Hunka, but in this article it said Gunko, so I'm not sure, served as a volunteer in the SS Galicia Division, she recalled. He was applauded by Prime Minister Trudeau, the Speaker, members of the House of Commons and Western Diplomatic Corps, including what is unsurprising she said the german ambassador this this scandal continues to elicit outrage and condemnation even among canada's closest allies canada's ruling liberal party did not expect this this is all from zakharova as i see it it took them by surprise trudeau says he was kind of unaware of the speaker's initiative. Apologies were immediately of, uh, offered by the speaker who is no longer the speaker. The Canada Prime Minister team is now doing damage control, wiping off the incriminating footage on the internet. Incriminating, I'm sorry. Incriminating footage on the internet. You can hardly believe in the ignorance of the head of government and his right hand Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland. You see, this is what Scott Ritter mentioned. This her he mentioned when I asked Scott, who do you think invited that guy to Canadian Parliament? And he said Christia Freeland. Continuing, Christia Freeland, the granddaughter of Banderite Mikhailo Komiak. They want to persuade us. They, they didn't know who they were applauding. How do they govern the country then? This is such a good question, right? Maria Zakharova, like my, one of my favorite women out there. She has more backbone than majority of men. So she asked, how do they govern the country then? The most important thing here is something else. Not only did they know, they are leading voice of this very campaign to support Banderites representatives of OON and UPA, UPA, NSS Galicia Division. There is more. They support 
both their direct participants in this criminal organizations and their followers. They sponsor all these structures in their modern version in Ukraine. Let me just go this way. Modern version of U in Ukraine. They, the Canadian authorities, knew what they were doing, she said. They had been doing it for many years. It's just that this time they overplayed their hand out, they hand at Russophobia. I have a pigeon visiting me. They insulted not only us, which they do regularly, they also insulted the memory of victims of the Holocaust, anti-Polish mass terror. Although we do not understand why Ukraine's honoring SS Galicia's division and Banderites does not insult the memory of the victims of the Holocaust. She recalled that Canada sheltered many of the sur sur uh, surviving Ukrainian uh, accompliances of Nazi Germany after the war. Today, Canada have been spreading the efforts to falsify the history of World War II. She also drew attention to the complete lack of reaction of the Canadian Parliament scandal from the Western members of the UN Security Council, the United States, the United Kingdom and France. It is outrageous that the Western community, the Western, uh, the, West, the Western Parliament members of the United, United Nations Security Council did not respond in any way to this blatant fact of support for neo-Nazism. Lack of official condemnation of the SS veteran honoring ceremony from the great powers, it's a shame that exposes them, she said. And she continued, we view Canada as an extremely unfriendly state whose authorities have tarnished themselves by, con by condoning Nazism, betraying their own history, and we will shape our policy accordingly. Zakharova, when she says it, she says it. And the dog is after, hey doggy, the dog is after the pigeon that was visiting her, unfortunately. So those are her words that are exactly aligned with what Scott Ritter was saying. Shameful, huh? You know, we all know Trudeau is never going to resign. I mean, never say never, but it's hard for me to imagine him resigning. My Canadian viewers, could you please put in the comments down below this video, what would it take for Justin Castro to say sayonara, adios, goodbye, au revoir, what would it take? Okay, what else I have for you guys? I have for you some article in regards to if Polish citizens, if Poles already know how they will be voting on October 15th. Very quick article. It says, do Poles know why, who they will vote for? Why? Well, why we know why, but who they will vote for? And they made a new survey which again question every survey too because it's paid who pays for the survey that's usually how the results of the survey go i don't have the names of the parties i will be giving you the names of the main parties uh, and of course uh, the movement Ruch Dobrobytu i Pokoju that is not a party it's a movement it's a grassroots mo ru grassroots movement sorry today my tongue is twisted full moon um, and that is the only, I believe, I think they are the only, maybe there are a few others, but to me, they are the only one that is coming from the people. Grassroots movement. There are regular citizens who gathered in that uh, movement. But those parties I will be giving to you probably next week. 
so you will have more understanding how this looks like in Poland, how many parties are there and you will be more aware before this uh, election. Do Poles know who they will vote for? A survey has been posted on onet.pl, the name of the portal. 73% of respondents already know who they will vote for on the October 15th elections. On the other hand, 11% declare that they will make a decision at the last minute. According to the latest poll, the Polster Research Institute made by Super Express. 10% of respondents answered, it's difficult to say, and 8% that they do not know who they will vote for in the, in the elections. Well, you know, this is survey on certain amount of people. This is not on everyone. So you cannot really rely on this uh, fully because there's just a percentage of the voters. But that's all I have for you today, everyone. The link to Maria Zakharova's uh, speech. It is very straight to the point. You find in the description box down below this video. Some of you keep on asking me where to find it. When you see the video, you have to click on more under the video. Is the title, then you click on more, and then it takes you to the description box. In that description box, you have all the links to find me. And down below, right under all those links, you always have the articles that I read to you. And as always, guys, make sure to join me on Locals. Follow me on Instagram. Join my mailing list. Uh, there is Rumble as well. And if you feel like buying me a coffee, no pressure, zero pressure, honestly. But if you feel like you want to buy me a coffee, you can do it by clicking down on this link below. And I wish you lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Have a wonderful Saturday and I see you tomorrow in a free-flowing video on Sunday. Bye guys!